Hi, my name is Erica. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I got this look. I was really going for like a soft glam type of vibe and I really like how it came out. If you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. I'm starting with the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Primer and I'm massaging that into the skin. For now, I am mixing shades 390 and 360 in the Fenty Foundation, uh, but when I run out, I'm going to buy 370. I think that will be the shade that will look best. Um, I'm using a Kabuki brush to buff this out. This one is from Morphe. For concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Cool Tan. I'm putting that on my cheekbones, down the center of the nose, um, a little bit in the center of the forehead, and I also like it on the sides of my nose. I'm using a damp beauty sponge to blend that out. To intensify my highlight, I'm using some Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand. Um, I find that it's a bit too bright to use on its own, but when it's layered with another concealer, I really like it. And I'm using whatever product is left over on the sponge to highlight the middle of the forehead again and the chin. For contour, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Espresso, and I'm putting that like right below my cheekbones and then on the forehead. And I like to use the same brush that I used for my foundation to blend out my contour. I'm going back in with my sponge to blend out that highlight more and then whatever's left I'm using to define that cheekbone where my contour is. I'm going to bake a little bit with Patrick Star's Translucent Powder by MAC. Next, I'm priming my eyelids with the P. Louise base in shade 3. Um, as you can see, this goes a long way. I use a small drop and it pretty much covers the entire lid. To contour my nose, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in the shade Deep. I like to use that with a fluffy brush. Um, I prefer to use powder over a cream for instance, to contour my nose because sometimes the cream leaves a harsh line that I don't really like. Moving on to the eyes, so I'm taking the Desi and Katie Friendcation Palette uh, by Dose of Colors and I'm going to start with the shade Necessary and I'm putting that under the brow bone kind of as my transition shade. Um, I'm using a fluffy blending brush to do this and then I'm going to take like this flatter blending brush and I'm going into the shade Churro. Um, and I'm putting that in the outer corner, and I'm also going to work that into the crease. I'm taking my time with this, adding color slowly so that the edges can be nice and blended. And then I'm purposefully avoiding the lid because I want that area to stay as light as possible. Now I'm using a small detail brush and I'm going into this chocolate color. It's called Cheens. And I'm going to use that to make like a cat eye shape. I'm going to drag it towards the tail of my eyebrow and then bring it into the crease. To make this look nice and blended, I'm taking a clean blending brush with no product and I'm just buffing out all the edges.
and I'll pretty much be going back and forth between the small detail brush and the clean blending brush to get the color as deep as I want and then to get it as blended as I want. Dusting away the bake and then I'm going to go into basic with a flat brush and pack that on the lid. Now I'm going to go back into churro and I'm going to apply that on the lid between basic and jeans so that there's a gradient there so it doesn't go straight from that really light color to that chocolate brown. And then I'm going to line my waterline with the Maybelline Lasting Drama in Jet Black. I'm using that small detail brush and jeans to smoke out the bottom lash line and then I'm going to use churro on top of that to blend it out a bit more. Now for some highlight, I'm going to use a detail brush and I'm going to go into my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop and I'm going to put that in the inner corner and I'm also going to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to pop on some lashes. These are called La Flair and I got them super cheap at my local beauty supply. Now that the eyes are done, I'm going to bronze my face. I'm using Bobbi Brown again in deep and I'm going to go back over my contour. I'm going to hit my temples a little bit on the forehead and the chin. I'm going to use the Illa Mosqua blush in the color Excite. And then back to my Becca highlight to hit those cheekbones. Using the same highlight, I'm going to take a smaller brush to hit the tip of the nose, a little bit of the bridge, and my cupid's bow. I'm going to set everything in place with some Fix Plus by MAC. And to finish off the look, I'm going to use the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncuffed on my lips. Well, this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks so much for watching.